Monster Bars Vanilla Custard. This thing's going to be awesome. I've had them before, but it's been a while, so I've had a good uh, chance to clean my palate. I've really missed this flavor. They also sell this in uh, 100 ml bottles. Let's get up and close, unbox it, and then vape this baby. Monster Bars Vanilla Custard. So one thing I do like, packaging is so, so, super easy to open. Just that simple. I mean, you got a rubber nipple on both ends. All right, guys, so let's take the camera back up top and see how she vapes. I enjoy getting excited for stuff like this. Uh, it forces me to make videos because I want to get the whole experience. If I had to explain the smell, you take a, uh, a vanilla pudding snack cup and you open it up and you just smell it. Vanilla doesn't really have that much strong of a smell, not compared to like peppermint. It's almost butterscotch. Now they do make a butterscotch version of this and that's probably going to be in my next purchase. But let's see how it hits. It's going to be my first time hitting this device and the coil ain't going to be broken in for about 10 hits. So let's see what we got on the initial, on the initial hit. It is so good, so creamy. The aftertaste is where this vape is at. That's where this vape shines, is at the aftertaste. I, I taste something sweet on the inhale, but I can't put my finger on it. <clears throat> Until I exhale, and I let a little bit come through my nose, and I taste with my tongue, and smell with my nose, and that aftertaste, and it lingers. I can, I can taste it for quite a while after, after I hit it. Monster, you guys are doing a badass job. You guys are doing a really good job. You're stepping your game up. I prefer the vanilla custard in this form over the uh, 100 ml bottle. It actually goes in a mod, but both are very, very good. Both are very good. This, something about this, uh, the. It brings the flavor out in it. Maybe I need to turn down my mod and the low heat will bring out the flavor a little bit more. I'm gonna try that. Monster, uh, uh, the last time I did a review on your product, I recommended putting rechargeable batteries in these bad boys and charging five more dollars and I will gladly pay it. Gladly pay it. I can get a hide with a rechargeable battery in it for roughly $21 where I live. And this costed me $18. I will gladly give you $25 to put a rechargeable battery in this because I hit this so hard because I love the flavor that um, the battery dies long before the juice goes away. But the flavor is so good to me that I still purchased this despite that. I'm sure I could open this up and figure out a way to charge up the existing battery in it or throw a rechargeable in it. It's really not worth my time at this price point. I'll just keep buying a new device. But it makes me want to choose Hide over you all. Just being honest. You guys, you guys, you guys nailed it. I don't know whether it's the low heat, There's uh, the wattage isn't the same, I know this has a mesh coil in it, but I can't really get the same consistency of flavor out of my 100 watt mod, not just 230 watt mod, by running it at 90, 90 watts typically with a dual mesh. Uh, and I can't get the same response out of it as I can this. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for today. And until next time, peace.